I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Uh, do you consider... Now, keep an open mind. Okay. Do you consider cereal as a soup? Not cereal no. as a soup? Right. No, it's not. Um, Why is that? Cereal, cereal is not made of broth and does not consist of multiple ingredients. Uh, I think it would. There's multiple ingredients in like the in like the uh, the I don't want to say kibble, but you know the kibble. Sure, but soup you can digest it into separate uh, elements. You got mm-hmm. you got chicken, you got noodles, you got celery, steak, potatoes. Yeah, but what about like uh, honey bunches of oats or something like that? Where now you have like uh, you know you've got your bunches, you've got your your uh, your oats and stuff, you got your almonds. You know, you know mm-hmm. I mean, I no, I don't. But what about my, the temperature? The that was temperature that would be too. the only thing that I would say wouldn't count as soup. But they have cold soup. Like there is like cultures that have cold soup. I don't necessarily okay. remember where, but um, yeah. well, respect to those cultures. But the idea of cold soup is hogwash. weird. Yeah, I, I, on, on your dictionary.com, it says soup definition one, a liquid food with or without solid particles. So no. technically, no. Technically, well, what, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is chowder then? <laughs> it's a soup. Well, no, I don't think chowder is a soup. Chowder is different. No, 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 no. Oh, it, hang on. I got uh, that makes that actually makes sense. Uh, I, I changed my mind. I didn't mean chowder. I meant so. OK, maybe we can't classify cereal as soup. Mm-hmm. But can we classify it as a stew? That's okay. an entirely different ball game right there. You See, know? this is actually something that uh, Matt and I were discussing a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it'd be uh, good to ask you guys because we were kind of curious, like, what was the general consensus on this? Like, is yeah, this, what do you guys? I think? honestly, I've had the. I feel like I've had this conversation before, not with you guys, but like, mm-hmm. I feel like I have thought about this before. But uh, I mean, I would say that it's closer to a stew than it is to a soup. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I think cereal is a, is, is its own kind of subclass. You know what I mean? Right. Like I could still consider I, it a cereal, but it is with its own subgenre of yeah. soup. I say, class. I say it's its own thing, period. It's, it's an entirely different food. It's not sub anything. Okay. 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 Well, here I, I got. I got. We'll we'll get to the movies in a second. But I I got another one for you. Yeah. Are, are, would you count a burritos as a um, as a sandwich? No. And mm-hmm. would you count a hot dog as a sandwich? No. No and no. I would consider the hot dog as a sandwich. I will. Mm-hmm. I will. I will. I will I'll, I'll, I'll entertain that idea. You don't yeah. eat a hot dog sideways. You can, but it's wrong. That is but, true. But but they who are we to define? Yeah. If it's uh, wrong, then it's not a sandwich. Sandwich. Hmm. Let's see. Sandwich definition. What is the dictionary? All right. Mean? An okay. item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other fillings between them, eaten as a light meal. Yeah. Technically. Was, yeah. A burrito would work, but there's a, that would only work if there's two. Oh, what about a hard taco? As a sandwich? Uh huh, as a sandwich, or like a quesadilla. I guess it just depends how you eat it. I mean, listen, um, I agree with the hot dog meat sandwich because it's no different than like a Philly cheesesteak or any other mm-hmm, sandwich. Mm-hmm. You got meat in the between the buns, whether true, it's true, whether it's two separate pieces or closed. I don't think it really matters. Absolutely. I mean, think about it this way too: sub sandwiches, subways. Like Subway or like a something like a like a Jimmy John's, right? Their bread isn't on top; it's kind no, of in right. a bun. It's, it's, you're right. You're 100 percent right. So there is no, no. Um, I I don't know, Nick. I think you might be with the majority, but might also be with the minority. Mm-hmm. I All didn't hear the time. last half of that. Um, what I said, you may be the wrong. majority. Yes, no. He says, he says you're wrong. No, 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 no! I, I ain't wrong. I ain't wrong, little, little bitch. And you see, here's, here's why. Here's why I ain't wrong. Quite just, just, you know, just lay the facts out. You don't, you don't eat it horizontally. 
if you did, all the contents would fall out, and it's a self-sustaining meal. You don't anyways. eat a sub sandwich. You don't eat a sub sandwich horizontally. True, but that counts as a wrap. It's basically oh, no, it's okay. Hang on. No, hold on. A wrap. A wrap no. would be like a flatbread or a tortilla. Or burrito. That burrito. burritos are or a burrito. Wrap. Exactly, but how can you put a sub sandwich in that category of a wrap? Yeah, I don't agree with that. In some cases, you could, cause I feel like you're just trying to you're just trying to trying to to negate what we're saying, man. I'm trying to throw a wrench. Well, I was trying yeah, to he is. Much- I'm just trying, trying to, to break, break our glass windows, man. And I forgot to. I got drunk too freaking early. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think you need to be. I don't think it matters if you're sober or drunk to understand that. Uh, a you basic, don't need a, yeah, the you basics basic sandwich, sandwich yeah. logic. Sandwich yeah. is sandwich. And don't and... use your and don't use your alcoholism to to yeah, negate our sandwich not, not cool. talk. Hot dog you is hot drunk. dog. It's sandwich is sandwich. You drunk? You take it back. Okay. Well, you why don't you get on my level and see how. You Deal. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think even if I was six shots in, I would understand that you don't eat sub sandwich. Go prove it. Go find your best whiskey. Go find your best booze. Put your yeah, money maybe, where your mouth is. Maybe I'm my best whiskey. No, you're not. These so, movies yeah, are your know, best guys. whiskey. Shit. Um, and then and with burritos, I see those as a wrap for sure. Burritos aren't. I think burritos burritos are a wrap. Sandwich. Okay, yeah. I can I can agree with that. Can, but hot dogs, hot dogs, that. sandwich. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about a fucking cheeseburger? Is a cheeseburger a sandwich? Burgers are not fucking sandwiches. That is baloney. They are. That is no, 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 no. How is a cheeseburger not a sandwich? You do. It's got two pieces of buns. You don't eat a hamburger patty with white bread or wheat bread or anything like that. You eat it with a hamburger bun. It's still bread. Especially designed to not be a freaking sandwich. Have you ever had a? Have you ever had a hoagie? Have you had a hoagie? You've never no. had a hoagie. That's bullshit. That's a hot I'm calling dog. bullshit. Nick, 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 Nick. Hot dog Nick. Wrapped up in Nick, shit. Nick. So, what do you consider a sloppy Joe? That's mm. not a burger. That's not a sandwich. That is a sloppy Joe. No. God. Sloppy Joe's a fucking sandwich, dude. It's messier than a sandwich. The fucking thing leaks out the sides. Have you that had? Have you been to fucking matter. Jersey Mike's? Jersey Mike's. They spray oil all over it, and it's delicious. Ugh, so, has that not a sandwich? What's wrong with you, Nick? Use I use I, I use not common sense here, Mike. man. I a hot dog is a sandwich. A hamburger or a cheeseburger is a sandwich. A sloppy Joe is also a sandwich. Why do they call it hamburger sandwiches? Why do they call them burrito sandwiches? Because it's they a lot don't... easier to just call them a cheeseburger when no, no, no. people yeah. know already. People know. They, we, they don't know. Agree. I don't know because they don't call them hamburger sandwiches, cheeseburger sandwiches. They're cheeseburgers. Strictly burgers. Mm. They're Sandwich. their own thing. Yeah. By the by it's the textbook definition, boat. man. Textbook definition here. Item of food consisting of two pieces of bread. Boom. Two pieces of bread. A bun cut in half. That's two pieces of bread. With meat, cheese, or other fillings between them. That's literally a cheeseburger. Textbook def can go lick my nad. This is hopeless. Speaking of this. licking my nads, let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Oh jeez. You guys wanna talk about movies? I guess. Yeah. I'm not I done guess. with my synopsis. Well, hold on. Do I even need do I even need these synopsis? I'm just gonna free ball it. I'm gonna free ball it. If you have them written down, you should just use yeah, them. I'll, I'll keep going. I'm halfway through my audition. Well, <laughs> well that's my another audition. good segue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about both movies at the same time. How's that yeah. sound? Oh, great. Yeah. Fan- okay. Um, All right. What, what movies do you guys want to talk about first? Um, well, We haven't introduced the show yet. We haven't. Yeah, oh, you're right. Oh, my yeah, God. bro. We right. didn't even sp- you didn't even talk about our, our pod bean or okay, anything. Okay, hold like on. That. Let me. I got we haven't right. flicked our pod bean. Come on. Ooh. All right. Can well, we um, the bean at the end, though. Anyway. We're Cinema Speak, Reviews from the West, one of the two. And um, we're back with episode 23, 22. Are we keeping one. track? Well, I am. Uh, clearly. Okay. You, you clearly. Look at cool over here. Clearly. What are okay. we doing today? What we, what we got? Um, so we got two films. It was my picks. My, my picks. Big picks. Big picks. Big pick. It's a big um, pick. We have Audition from Takashi 
Mikay, I think it's Mikay. Mikay. It's, Mike. Mikay. Mikay. it's definitely Mikay. not pronounced fucking Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike. Ryan calls Denis Villeneuve Dennis, so well, let's true. call this guy Mike. Well, if Ryan was here, you'd call him Mike. Exactly. I'm doing this for I'm doing this for Ryan. As a, okay. Well, anyway, auditions from 1999, and then we also have uh, dogs don't wear pants from uh, the Last director uh, J P. You know, I'm just not going to pronounce it because I will. I will I'll take a it. shot at it mm. from J P. Valkyrie. Bam, you're done. <laughs> All right, well, podcast is done. I quit. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll take it from here. Well, he's a Finnish, Finnish director. I was wondering what fucking yeah. nonsense language this was. In. Yeah. <laughs> we got one movie from Finland, the other hailing from the land of the rising sun. Yeah, so those were my two picks, and um, let's talk about one of them. What which one, shall which one we you talk you about? Chase, what did you just finish? Audition? I just finished Audition, yeah. Like, I'll literally, literally just finished Audition. All right. Guess we'll talk Audition. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nick, All read right. the synopsis, buddy. Read the synopsis. Let's crack the cold one. Let's get right into it here. All right. <clears throat> audition. Businessman Aoma is seven years post-wife dying. He is now in the mood for love. So, with the help of his documentary nice. producer friend... They stage a foul audition for a leading lady role in the hopes of finding Aoma a, a-, 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 a- Ayama a new soulmate. They settle on they settle on one young lady named Azumi. Azam- Azami. It's Azami. 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. They hit it off pretty well, but soon they discover she has a dark past and that evidently ruined starts ruining the relationship a little bit leading to even darker stuff down the line <laughs> half of that was free ball you're gonna have to pardon me for that nice right so, so uh i actually heard audition go around in circles a bit as far as like the most famous horror movies of all time that kind of yeah thing. so it's good that i knew something of this otherwise i would just written this off as another oddball pick from victor I think not knowing anything about this made the movie better, in my oh, opinion. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Oh, man. You, you swear the way this movie starts up, it's Chunking Express 2 or something. And then. It definitely, yeah, it definitely doesn't start off. It, it doesn't even feel like a horror film. It doesn't. Which, I mean, it definitely yeah. goes it goes deeper into horror than, uh, than Dogs Don't Wear Pants, which I wouldn't even consider a horror film. Right. But. Um, I would. Dang um, it. But yeah, it's it, it starts off kind of like I mean it's sad. It's like very Dude. dramatic and kind of very sad. Yeah. But like they kind of they kind of go about it in a way that's like eh, whatever. Dude's wife's dead. Blah. Eh, <laughs> no one else's life. Eh, eh, yeah, that's know. the thing from the very beginning, dude. I was like really hit hard with that opening. Yeah. That was so well done. Uh, mm-hmm. And I didn't realize I'm gonna pick, I was going to pick two films where the wife dies in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spoiler. Alert. Wow. Two fathers lose their patterns, uh, wives, and have and to then raise affects, their kids. And then it affects their children. Yeah, yeah. You heard it here first, folks. This is the dead wife double feature. <laughs> <laughs> dead wife but yeah, I like how it starts off as this like um sort of like. Uh, Classy, tragic in a way. It's not yeah. maybe classy is not that the right was, word, but it has a different feel compared to yeah. the it rest was, of the film. I could have honestly watched the whole movie in this tone and narrative because it, it had a it made a, a very heartfelt and comfortable uh, setting to get nestled into. And I was, I was, it was nice seeing where this was going up until, say, maybe the halfway point of the movie, which is not like a criticism or anything. It's mm. just a sign. That they nailed the tone so well. So I was digging it. I was digging that part of it. Yeah, Chase, yeah. since you just finished it, what, what, what were your think what were your thinkings on oh, it? Oh man. Um <laughs> I think it's a really I, I think both of these movies I was feeling more sad than than horror. Yeah. Same. Um uh uh 
dogs don't wear pants, I have much more to talk about, I feel. Um, yeah. But uh, this this has, like I said, it starts off kind of just like kind of dreary and, and mm-hmm. sad. But then it makes that fucking left turn, man. And it starts. Holy crap. It st- <laughs> shit starts going sideways, especially the last like 35, 40 minutes or so. The last mm-hmm. freaking half hour of this movie. Yeah, honestly. Like it literally goes it, off the rails. And it dragged on like that's in yeah in, that's not a that's not a uh um uh, a bad thing right. especially yeah. for yeah. what was everything that was going on it was slow was... and and painful very mm-hmm. painful um and uh it, it just it was it's such a a uh, it was it was weird and it's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh uh obviously uh in current day um uh me too uh era this mm-hmm. this movie is uh i think even more um emotional today yeah um but uh yeah it's it it comes off it comes off in such a inappropriate way um that's really fucked up and well... i think it's i think it's done so i think it's done so well yeah and yeah and yeah i could see coming from with that i'm not trying to defend them like otherwise from me too like it's it was horrible what happened to in those kind of situations but uh in all in some fairness the main character he wasn't out strictly for sex or anything like well that's well that's entirely his what his goal was is to find like an obedient Perfect. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that he Wife. was necessarily looking for sex. It was that he was looking for oh a woman to to take up a stereotypical woman's position, exactly. and especially sure. in somewhere where tradition is such a heavy thing, like in Japan. Yeah, where you know this uh, uh, Asami didn't really. She grew up in a in a very um abused how, environment. I don't. I don't like a very uh unstable household i guess you could say i guess that might be a like a correct way of saying it is her her family like her family life was a little rocky um (laughs) a little but uh you know and so i think the uh um i lost my train of i don't i don't don't know where i was going with that but uh i i do think i don't think it was uh i i do agree with you nick i don't think he was entirely looking for for sex but i don't think the me too movement is necessarily about sex it's more about the, I get too, yeah. the, the the act of of men overpowering women in sure. a you know something like that and so in this case it's less of overpowering and more of a woman's place is to do this and this and this and a man's place is to do this and this and the main guy wants to uh, to have his uh, yes, his wife yes. be obedient. The so, controlling but, um, aspect of the patriarchy, as it were. Ab- beautiful, Nick. Nice, that was Nick. that was beautiful. <laughs> right. So. I, I amazed myself. <laughs> but yeah, um, a, yeah. So yeah, when, yeah. I guess that is a good point. This does take on a whole new meeting post twenty seventeen Hollywood. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and, and the, yeah, that definitely makes it a lot more meaty, and mm-hmm. it, it, it makes it age better. And that's what you said when you Chase. You said that you felt more sad than like, any sort of sense of horror in this film. Yeah, that's, and that's something I felt too because, um, I mean, especially when you start to learn Asami's backstory. Yeah, absolutely, you, and everything. It really brings out the. Uh, the human condition element of it, and I'm really surprised that it like it took time to explore her past and and the reasons why she is like how she is. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like those that torture scene towards the end is pretty, oh, pretty wow. gnarly. Um, what the hell, man? <laughs> but I I do like how they try to show that <sighs> there are consequences to evil actions and if you don't treat people right they could come out not really all right in the head yeah and and then showing too like how someone like um the main character could exploit someone like that and think like oh 
perfect. I could use them as a wife and just kind of the arrogance of that sort yeah. of mentality. It's, it's interesting that. Well, especially the, especially the aspect of the audition itself oh, is, yeah. is really is, is super fucked up. Oh, it and, totally is. and the, and I don't think that the, uh, I'm what's the, what's the main character's name? Ayama. Uh, or, Ayama. Or, or, Ayama. Or, or, Ayama. Um, Ayama's uh um uh his his like buddy his mm-hmm. like director buddy or his editor buddy he's yeah. way worse than than Ayami is that's Ayami. the thing yeah Yoshikawa yeah he was he was he was way he was more of the sexual route mm-hmm. but for but this was uh and and the the audition was such a a. a I don't think Ayama would come up with this idea himself. I no. think this was a someone who who does like degrade women and think of them as as you know less superior. That's how that's something that someone would come up with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, cause just because intention, yeah, yeah. his intention yeah. wasn't like necessarily really bad. I mean, sure, it was you know a little. If yeah. you like, you're you still, know. you're, you know, you're lying to, to a bunch of women and, right. you know, you know, you're not looking at their acting ability. You're looking at their, at what they look like. And, and, you know, it's, it's def it's absolutely degrading, but yeah, both characters not... are, are guilty in, in that for yes. sure. Yes. Um, but it's not necessarily a completely sexual thing. I don't even think, um, right. It's, it's like, m- like mostly sexual, mm-hmm. you know? Well, I would say like, that it's like halfway. And also too, like towards the beginning when they're talking about um he's talking with I think his editor or something about, you know, being lonely. He's like everyone in Japan is lonely. Yeah. And so there's that sense of like, you know, he really just it's kind of dawning on him that, you know, I really don't have anyone and I need kind of mm-hmm. they think he needs someone to like take care of him. Like I think there's a line in there, something about women are there to like help men when they're exhausted or something like that. Yeah. Um so, so there's it, a lot of thematic uh, presence. Well, right. It doesn't, but it doesn't really feel like it chooses like a singular side. It kind of shows how complex each side is and what their what their nuances, I guess, and what mm-hmm. like makes them who they are. Yeah. So it's interesting. It's also really well acted. This film. Oh yeah. We have a very oh, likable yeah. performance in what's his head here, Ryo Ishibashi. I think he plays Ioma here. Yeah, he, I I was feeling from right from the get go. He's a very likable presence on screen. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah, and also on the flip side is A Shina. Shit, that's that was a butcher. Well, you a zombie, have a, a zombie's a actress. Whiskey. It's not whiskey. It's shock top. Uh, a zombie's actress. She was, my goodness, uh. Yeah, it's it's a switch flip. It's instant how well she plays the two halves of this character. You can really yeah, see the is. darkness in her. It's yeah, like, and then she comes completely fucked up by the end. And it's just like her. Okay, let's kill her right now. Her voice is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, just yeah. this emotionless, especially especially uh, um, at the end when when uh, when she's I'm, torturing him. Well, yes, that and when she's on the ground, that was, uh, that was, I'm, I'm like, and oh, the shots yeah. are so yeah. long, and I'm the whole time, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like uncomfortable. I'm like, God yeah, damn, I just blink or something. <laughs> also, a, on that note, a very well, a very nice looking movie, lots of long, drawn out camera takes to let you know there's some yeah. substance in there somewhere because indie movie. Yeah, I don't think take. that's. Anyway. No, no, but seriously, the the camera work is very nice. The editing builds its own rhythm. It's it's artistic. It's an artistic looking movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah back to like I agree. her voice being terrifying. It, it's just too calm. Her voice is it too is. calm. It really is. <laughs> it's it's too calm. And and, and also, the, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um, well, I was just saying too, like that juxtaposed with like that first scene you get when something does not seem right with her where she's waiting near the telephone hunched over like as mm-hmm. if she's a rag doll and that, and that, that smile stack. she gets yeah yeah the burlap sign that smile she gets when the phone starts ringing i love just 
the it's just a very unpredictable her character yeah yes and it, it performs so well so damn well very much so and also <laughs> this threw me for surprise i was surprised to see we had jun kunimura as what's his name yoshikawa i was surprised to see him in this movie he's something of a he's something of a character actor in japan but still one of the main bad guy heavies from hard boiled and the replacement gu- uh prime minister in shin godzilla it, it's just nice to see him around oh shit yeah That's right Oh yeah. my god, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, wow, he been... got he got fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. character? Old. Yeah. And Shin Godzilla? Yeah, uh, man. Or no, which character? Oh, uh, uh, he, he was the... Yeah, Yoshikawa. Yoshikawa. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I've seen him around plenty. Yeah, Shin Godzilla, Kill Bill, the recent Midway movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. the guy gets around. And he's very good, too. So, uh, also, there's also this, uh, there's also the deal with, there's a lot of, mm, as the movie goes on, it becomes a lot more psychological, and that's represented through a lot of dream sequences and drug-induced uh, visions and so forth. What do you guys think of those? I was a little confused, especially with the ending. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm honestly not a fan of, of how that happened i'm a little confused whether or not it's one of these is it a dream is it not a dream type thing yeah um Uh, the visions and dreams definitely threw me off Uh, dream sequences are hardly good to begin with visions fare a little bit better Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking from a storyteller's point of view yeah yeah of course of course yeah so um yeah it was it 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 threw me off at, at a couple different points because we have a Ayama, he's having visions of places and things he's never seen yet, and you just wonder, wait, huh? What's going on here? Granted, it's a dream, it's a vision, but that can only go so far, uh, argument-wise. I, yeah, it's just not, it didn't sit well with me. That's the thing, I got kind of lost when he passes out, I guess, or he doesn't really pass out, but he you know, gets those nightmares. Mm-hmm. Um, because, like, if it was like, because there was moments where it, like was clearly a, like a you know a dream or whatever. Yeah, he's like seeing Osama in like her room and, and her feeding that and feeding yeah. that guy who was her you father, know, without a tongue and his yeah. dead legs. wife, his housekeeper. Um, yeah. Right, but then it kind of like blurs reality with you know this dream, and it doesn't really. Like, you know, when she gets kicked down the stairs and she's, like, telling him, like, re- lines that were uh, said earlier in the film, it's, like, it lost me because I was, like, what exactly is real? Yeah. Like, is, is he imagining this moment or is it, like, does not that does not matter? Is it just, like, blurring reality with, like, fantasy? Mm-hmm. I don't understand what exactly was going on there. And I didn't do enough reading to really, like, dive into it. But it yeah. did like you guys threw throw uh threw me into a loop for sure. Uh-huh. So those parts slightly checked out, but had they had they not been in such had they not come in in such crucial uh plot moments, I might have tuned out a hell of a lot more than I did, which wasn't yeah. much, but regardless, it does it did affect the momentum just a slight insy tiny bit it's like a teaspoon's worth that's yeah. right yeah for sure it yeah. kind of like undercut the whole finale for me uh-huh like, oh here's 10 minutes of nightmare and then back yeah. to reality question yeah. mark and then it's kind of yeah it was weird and on top of that it happens during a torture scene and and it also the thing that threw yeah. me off is that it also he he kind of wakes up from a nightmare mm-hmm. and so i'm like all right so are we What's going on? Is oh, this back just in the hotel? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah. is this just another dream, or is this actually happening? Like, what's, what is going on? So, it. But I mean, all things considered, about it, I, I think it's there could be. There's definitely worse ways of going about like nightmare uh, stuff. Yeah. Like he could have woken up and been like, "Whoa, it was just all a dream." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then he's actually just staring at her at the audition, and this whole thing was just like a daydream. And that then he's like, nah, not her, not her. That would be <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So, 
Yeah. And then there's also the torture scene, which is the worst form of horror you could ask for. Torture porn. Yeah. But it's it kind was... of essential to the plot. Or is it essential? Um, I think it's I think it's I think it's more of a it's it's a shock thing, which I'm yeah. which I'm fine with. I'm totally yeah, fine with it. But nothing wrong with shock horror. No, no, no. But I think it's I think it's just to show the the extreme of of trauma and of um the uh the abuse of of women from men and how and how uh yeah how detrimental that can be to especially at a young age right like, yeah so, I, I, you and, know what now that i think about it it seems like a yin and yang situation because when females females experience pain or this is just it's just my perception of it but a lot <laughs> oh god a very <laughs> a very male perception go ahead go ahead pitch me on the comments if i'm wrong but uh females would take in a lot more emotional pain uh mental pain sort of and that sticks with them a lot more than many other demographics Whereas yeah. males, we're more, we're more, oh, I should say association. Women are more associated with mental pain. They, they go through a lot more mental, mentally traumatic events. I, and, I, I agree to a certain extent. Yeah. To an extent. To an extent. Yes. I, I do. I, I know what you are meaning. Again, it's probably not coming out the way that you're meaning yeah, it to. I'm, I'm terrible at this. Knowing you, I know that what you are saying is, is yes, that is, Thank you. that Thank is, you. that is, that is correct. Is that they yeah. go through a lot more shit. That men yeah. don't have to go through. Right. I'll, put, I'll probably, put it like this. Probably the like better this. way of saying it. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll put it in a better way. Azami, in addition to her physical trauma, she, the mental trauma stay with her a lot more because you see, you see the flashbacks to her childhood and getting abused, and that mm. carries over into her, her adult self and her performance. She's very quiet, reserved. Yep. You can see a kind of a darkness lingering underneath. Mm-hmm. Very and then good. You got, and then that torture scene, you see how males have to be are more um are not just a Ayama gets physically pained. He he goes through physical pain, which is what men are commonly associated with because they're strong. They're stronger in a lot of cases. And hey Nick, Nick, yeah, Nick, I just stop. Uh, <laughs> what you were, what you had after. Good. I, everything that you said was totally fine. Everything that you said up until you brought up uh, brought up Ayama. That's everything else you said, my man. Perfect. All right, perfect. We'll just, we'll you just, get what I'm fucking saying. I Ayama, get what you're saying. I absolutely get what you're saying. Yes. It highlights a certain talk in there. I feel that yeah, I can't word properly. Yeah, it's but probably I feel it's, it's, it's more of a it's more of a um, and she kind of brings it up too. She says words are lies, but pain is like the only truth, or something like that. Can be trusted. Yeah. And yeah, so. Yeah, that kind of shows the the okay well you know men can lie with their uh, words and emotions and stuff but their pain is always uh is always very clear that's and, it um meaning pain as in either a the pain that they take or b the pain that they dish out Bingo. so so Bingo. yes I, I, under, like I, said, like I said i understand what you're trying to i understand what you're trying to say but i just wanted to stop you and tell you and, and unless do. you Please in do. case I'm you said fucking... something stupid, so I'm, I'm I got I'm better you. off saying shit like then she take the fucking piano wire and cuts off his feet. Yeah, boom, beautiful. <laughs> boom. Uh, good gore good. effects, good blood God. work. The last oh, yeah. half hour of it, especially for for 1990, 1999. It's not. That's not. That's not bad. Well, yeah, we we perfected practical horror gore by then. Yeah. Most yeah. any country would would have. It's, I mean, it's no, it's no, it's no Ari Aster, but it's it's pretty fucking, it's pretty good. Ari Aster wishes he was George Romero or something. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying current day. George Romero isn't isn't making, uh, well, isn't making shit, movies man. Like that. I'm just, but I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not negating what you're saying. I'm just saying, you know, Ari yeah. Aster's. I, I've seen better is, gore is, than Ari Aster films. That's yeah, I, I, I have not, but okay, that's probably me. I haven't seen I'm just, slasher film. I'm just being a bit of a bitch here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, man, why not? Do, do your bitch. Do your do your bitch. You're all good. 
<laughs> Moving on. Yeah, the blood. Love the blood. Huh? What's going on? Wish there was more blood. <laughs> Why wasn't this a straight horror movie? I do. I do agree with you. I do wish there was more blood. Um, I'm Are you a sucker about throughout the film, or just in that scene. Well, yeah, uh, it, it's a horror definitely movie. Definitely in that scene as well. Like, okay, it's a horror, especially movie. I mean, it's like a drama a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. Not Which I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not marking that as an actual criticism, but that's just just something that came up. Just it came, just yeah. It, it it it's the ending scene. I feel like. It, I, I don't know how much blood comes off when you comes out when you cut a fucking foot off, but mm-hmm. I feel like it'd probably be a little more than that. Like she there throws are, it out, there she are throws it out the window. Yeah, she throws it out the window and it just kind of like leaves like a a little bloody footprint and doesn't like kind of was... sweat or anything. Which I, again, I don't know what it would look like, but I you that know it's a movie. Good. You can you can ham it up. You can <laughs> ham it up. You know no, that that was a good minor shot. She throws the foot at the screen door or just yeah. the sliding door. It was a it was a sliding door. Yeah, glass door. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of that was eerily creative how she yeah. utilized the fiber wire because you oh, have yeah. you have the last shot of the movie where she puts on her ballet shoes and she wraps mm-hmm. around her leg like she did yep. with the fiber wire. fiber wire yeah thematically rich though we love, we love it we love to see it we love to see it yeah. all my uh, homies yeah, love thematic rich it. elements in films we need a t-shirt we need to make merch that should be it that should be a all my homies all my, love all themes. my homies my all my homies love themes. <laughs> so stupid. And then we'll get another one that says that it'll have my face on it and it'll say all my homies hate Michael Bay. <laughs> oh come on. Besides Nick. <laughs> See, if that's well, an incentive for you guys to stream him. our show and subscribe and rate, um, yeah. then I don't know what is. So make sure you're subscribing, make sure you're following. Yeah, absolutely. And rating, yeah. give us ratings so we know it's that really, um, it's really easy. It's really it easy. Is. And yeah, also, one, one, two, I mean, three. And, and shit, I mean, if you subscribe and you never watch one of our videos, I mean, that would suck. But I mean, hey, that, that, <laughs> number, that number goes up, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But please watch our stuff. Please, dear God. We're really, People we're really. Love it if you watch our stuff. What the fuck are you guys? We're, we're kind of going crazy here. We're, we're, this quarantine, man, has affected all of us. Specifically, specifically our boy, Victor. He's had to, he's had to, he's had to take the streets. I've had use, to... use, his, use his mouth for money. I wish you guys could see the, the pain had to, I go through auditions. every day. He had to put on, on, he had to go on the casting couch. So degrading. But anyway, back to audition. Nice. <laughs> um, excuse me. What else can we talk about? Um, 90s I like Japan. The... I figured like, that was a vibe yeah. for Victor worth talking about. 90s Japan. Oh, you know me. You know me. I know you. Yeah, there were some good set designs in here. Some nice vibes. I love the office space in particular that he works in, the main character. Yeah, it looks like office space. It's very crowded and uh, it's just nice yeah. set design. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Space. I don't know. Di- what the fuck is really good. Huh? I like the conversations between Yashikawa and Ayami or Ayama. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Ayami. Ayami. Ayama. Right? Asa- uh, Asami. Ayama. Right? No, Who are we Ayama. talking about? He's talking about the main. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about Main Asami. character and his documentary producer friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, word, yeah. word, 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 word. I like, I like those dialogues. Uh, I like Gengu, the dog. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Gengu. Poor shot for Gengu, man. Definitely. RP. Hey, that if, shot, if, uh, shot if, John, if, if that was John Wick's dog, we we the movie would be over much faster. Yeah. Think about it. Well, I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like John Wick. So that's what you I no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. I love John Wick. Okay. I do. I really do. I just don't think that it's a I don't think it's a it's a film that's trying like hard to be more than an action film, which is fine. I don't know why you're getting on my dick about it. It's okay. <laughs> wait, what no, film I'm, are you talking I'm, about? I'm just I'm John Wick. Wait, what about it? I Nick what? thinks it's like this big, beautiful cinematic universe that it's going to expand into fucking comic books and I didn't. And, you know, say there's, that. There's, even there's I know geeks. it's good at what it does. Yeah. I'm saying is that it's an action film, a damn good one with beautiful stunt court, like 
choreography That's what I was and <laughs> some amazing spectacles. And Keanu Reeves is doing a lot of his own shit as much as he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know it's what? great. I think we'll it's great. Talk about that. We'll talk about that when we review well, the on. trilogy for a video. I was thinking we could do a trilogy. Video. I would be down. I would honestly be very down for that. Let's fucking do it. I Hot need to read trivia for 10 seconds, and then you guys are going on with John Olick, and I have no idea the context of this debate. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I mentioned Dead Dog, and that made me think John Wick. Right. That's, and I said that because I watched the trilogy again recently. Blown and, away, then, like, and then he says, even though I hate John Wick, which I don't hate John Wick. I'm busting you. I'm twisting your balls. My balls don't need to be twisted, sir. Yeah, they're twisted I'm every day. They're twisting, twisting your balls. Day, okay, you know what? I'm speaking, sorry. Speaking of twisting my balls, let's get into... <laughs> 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 let's get, so do, yeah, you wanna, do you guys want to do ratings? Do you guys want to do ratings? I want to yeah, bring up... Are we finished here? I want to bring up one thing before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I but, like the the absent uh, abs, uh, absence absence the the lack of is that right is that the right word Victor yep, yeah. sure I like the <laughs> I like the absence of music at the end yeah. Um, uh, yeah there is not a single fucking piano note there's not nope. a violin screech it is just sounds of of pain laughter and fucking piano wires like. <laughs> On off a foot. I love that. I that, think that that's more, actually something I forgot to bring up. I, 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 you, yes. sound effects for that it's torture fantastic. board. Thing. Um, I I thought that was was really good, and it made me so uncomfortable because I'm like, God damn it, just like my, everything in my being was like, please just put like a, a like a somber piano in the background <laughs> or something like that. Comfort but me. It it was <laughs> it was so 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 good. unbearable Very uh, good. That, and then that last portion where the sun comes home and he's trying mm-hmm. not to get yeah. tranquilizer sprayed by her Did that that <laughs> felt tense it, i didn't I, I didn't pick up the fact that it was tranquilizer spray so i'm thinking that she's just like spraying him with like perfume or some shit and i'm like what the fuck is she doing <laughs> you will smell <laughs> that, you piece of shit <laughs> but uh uh, yeah, and then she he totally fucking like donkey kicks her down the stairs, dude. <laughs> dude. Full set. Legs folded and everything, bro. She flew down them stairs. It reminded me of uh, Django Unchained when uh, Django shoots that guy in the, the uh, DiCaprio's name? house. Right. Oh, yeah. And she yeah, just yeah. flies oh, sideways through the hallway. What was, what was her name? Miss, uh, Miss something. He he, because one of the slaves comes out and he goes, "Say yeah. goodbye to say bye, blah blah." And he, she goes, "Bye, blah blah blah." And he shoots her, and she just fucking, and it's like the <laughs> angle. Is yeah, so the angle long, makes no too. sense. It I love it. No sense. She's just absolutely fucking <laughs> just ripped into the other room. <laughs> ripped, oh, dude. Man. What a fantastic movie that one is. I but uh, we we gotta talk Tarantino at some point. We will talk Tarantino at some point. I'm good with ratings, uh, Victor. Sure. Since this was your your pick, why don't you start? Or do you want to end? Or do you want to start off? Start uh, off, Victor. I'll end. Okay, You'll end. I'll start it okay. off. I'll start it off. Right. Okay. okay so who's going first? I'll end. I'll, it. I'll go first. I'll go first. Go first. I don't think I don't think I've ever gone first. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I am going to give this four sawed off feet out of five. Fuck nice. yeah. Um, I think that it is a very, very well done uh, and well uh, executed um, nice. uh, horror film, and and I would classify this one as a horror film. Um, it uh, it, it kind of gave me. I was thinking about this as I was watching a little bit of the same vibes as like Old Boy does, mm-hmm. like in in the in the aspect of. You know, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why, honestly. But it's nearly as fucked up as old. Um, yeah. Um, but I mean, in my opinion, I think the Josh Brolin one's significantly better. But what? I'm, just, Wait, I'm totally, whoa, whoa. I'm totally fucking kidding. I'm totally <laughs> fucking kidding. I haven't seen either of them. I, I was like, know. no way. I'm <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this was done really well, and I'm uh, 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 this this director apparently has done some other really fucked up shit. And oh yeah like films and i'm really into uh fucked up movies so i will check them out but yeah four four sawed off feet out of five for 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 me sweet excellent my friend now i guess my rating okay 
let's do this thing. I'm going to give it four deep sea fish catches out of five. Mm, beautiful. Uh, aside from some narrative choices I didn't care for, and a slow burn plot that sometimes works, and at a couple different times felt a little too slow, uh, this is worthy of being a good horror, international horror classic. It's well acted. The story is unique. It takes a really, really, really weird turn <laughs> towards the end that is pretty damn nerve-wracking. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, and, and in the wake of all that's happened in the current state of Hollywood, it's got a lot more to think about for the viewer. So I'd say worth checking out. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with three and a half stars. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, this is one that, you know, by the end, I was sort of conflict on how exactly I felt. Um, mm. I know I really liked it, and it was very well made. I just didn't get the, I think, the emotional connection that I was hoping to get from it. From the, like, you know, because the very beginning, I was like almost in tears. Like ten, yeah. five minutes mm. in, I'm like, "What's going on here?" Mm-hmm. And so, I made this for mum. Yeah. So, I think thematically, it's very interesting to think more about and read into because a lot like we've said a lot happens in the last 20 minutes or so that for first viewing it can leave someone kind of definitely bewildered like myself um but there, there there's a lot here to unpack and everything leading up to those 20 minutes is you know pretty normal it's it's slow and it has a not a very heavy tone ex- exclude, excluding a few major uh backstory moments mm-hmm. um uh-huh. but i was i was i was into it i was really into it and i would like to see this in a few years or so and really uh yeah certainly caught experience. Me out, so. yeah agree, for sure I, agree. I think uh i think um i'm uh there's there's this uh uh da, 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 da. There's this review, this uh, this um, movie review channel on uh, on YouTube. I think he's actually from Seattle, but his name is Jeremy Johns. Yeah, so if, you know, if you guys know Jeremy Johns, but of um, I do. he he does a scale of whether or not he's picking it up on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna fucking steal it from him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the same <laughs> thing as well. And I oh, will, man. I will say that this is a, uh, this is a, um. I'm not going to I'm I'm worth buying on Blu-ray. Yes. Yes. This is, this is a, I wouldn't say worth buying. This is a, uh, this is a, I'm going to look for it on Blu-ray. Okay. Yeah. I know there's a pretty good restoration that came out recently. I think Shout Factory or Arrow did one. Sweet. Um, But yeah, I think I would have figured, I would have figured Criterion would have got to this before Mm -hmm. Shout Factory. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I I agree. I would buy it too. I, I highly recommend it. There's just a lot of, complex it's just a lot of complex character yeah things going on here it's definitely a good deep dive so. absolutely absolutely yeah. speaking of deep dive into <laughs> one's anus let's go to dogs don't wear pants no they do not that is a fact that is an absolute fact. Dogs well, actually, don't if you wear do, pants. if you do look up pictures of dogs wearing pants, that's wrong. Um, that's wrong, and you know it. They can wear shirts for some hang reason. On, hang on, look, hang on, you, hang on. You look, you're the wait, same wait, person. Wait, wait, you wait. Wear shoes, which is really wrong. Dogs wearing wear pants. pants? Look, wait, it's make... a... whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that is the dogs same exact. Do wear pants? It's the same reaction you had when you figured you found out, Mark. That was the most genuine reaction I've heard from somebody in a long time <laughs> on well, any subject matter. Completely fake. <laughs> Whoa! But how would dogs wear pants? Would they wear them over? Would would they? Uh, how how would they do it? Do you guys know how how would they how would they wear their pants? Wear pants? I think either both back pants. legs or all four. Yeah. No 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 no. They they couldn't wear pants because the waistband would get stuck on the other hind legs no okay this doesn't it has to depend it has to depend on the pants size here we have in the left picture that's just illogical you need like triple xl pants for that and in the right picture 
it's not that simple. It, you have to depend on the size, or either it won't make it past his knees, or it will go too freaking far and get hung up on his front legs. You know what Here's I mean? Thing, man. Is, that's how all fucking pants work. Is that they all are different sizes? It's not one universal but, size. But one point, it's not like fucking sweatpants. Sweatpants have I mean, a onesie. I'm saying, the, huh? what do you mean a onesie? We're not covering its whole body and its neck. The dog's mm. wearing pants are either around. Chase, I think the Chase. most. Sorry, graphic, sorry. Remember, yeah, remember, remember this is this is the guy. This is like, the guy who. This is the guy who uh, thinks. Sloppy Joe's art sandwiches and yeah. hot dog. Hey, we're not sandwiches. airing that part of the episode, okay? Yeah. This has no relevance. <laughs> we absolutely that's going to yeah, be its own separate in. thing. That's a right, that's a, Victor doesn't that's a edit beautiful discussion. Yes, yeah, so. freaking edit these episodes. Oh, what I are do. we talking about? Yeah, dog them. Them. Pants. Why are you hating Nick? Damn, I Nick is just on a roll. Get off has... Chekhov's cock, bro. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Has one cup of whiskey and it's just. Step it's yeah, man. Activated. He's got some fucking uh, hair on his chest tonight. Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> Dominate. All right. Um, All right. We're dominating you just like. Shut up. Dominatrixes <laughs> and dog store pants. Yeah. Dominate. Dominate. All right. All right. With Nick, 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 Nick. Nick. Dalmatian. Nick, 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 Mr. Nick. Will you give us an introduction? Fine. Yes, I will give you an introduction to dogs. Thank you, don't sir. Care. You are you are you are a very good man. Thank you. Pardon mm-hmm. my uh, ostentatious so eccentric behavior. Mm-hmm. Okay, dogs don't wear pants. Finnish horror movie revolves around a guy named Yuha. Damn, Finnish. Oh boy. Yuha mm. lost his wife. She drowned. Tried to save her, but couldn't save her. It's now a few years later, and he's he's finding it pretty difficult to cope with the loss still. So one day, when he's taking his daughter to get her tongue pierced, he stumbles onto a dominatrix lair where he meets Mona, the dominatrix of said lair. He event, evidently he is interested and goes and schedules an appointment, and he just gets owned by her essentially. But in the owning, in the act of owning. Well, okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you Sorry. should, you should definitely write these down. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm, okay, okay. the entire movie. It's, it's, it right it's there. all good. It's all no. good. Everything. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Let me, sorry. Let me sorry. rephrase. Let me Go rephrase. Ahead. Go. <laughs> but in the act of getting dominated, uh, he finds that being strangled to near death gives her the visions. Of his yeah. wife that he you're always still, you're hold still, on, you're Nick. still going fucking far. You're just... Slow it down. <laughs> That's such a big plot point. <laughs> well, we did spoil it anyway. What the... just imagine? We just wanted, imagine. We wanted... Okay, fine, just... fine, fine, fine. Cut this part. Cut this part out. <laughs> just imagine you go to a movie theater. Like, what's this movie about? And he's like, oh well, you know, blah blah blah. It happens, this happens, but it turns out I'm usually like... not this terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, let me paraphrase. Let me paraphrase. Thinking like, oh, he's gonna solve it. <laughs> then okay, just, okay. Like, I'll continues just doing what we didn't want him to do. <laughs> you have make take an interest in Mona, and then he starts pursuing her for the next couple of days, or whatever. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Nick on five cool. minute mute uh, <laughs> punishment. You can edit these, man. I, I I watch the videos. You don't edit them as much as I think you should. This, okay, this has mom. to be kept in it. What are you talking about? This is. Fucking hilarious. Uh, okay, so all oh, right. So like, like shit Nick shouldn't have said. <laughs> cop, bring me that cop. So um okay, so I I'll okay, this one I think got to me a little more than audition, but here's why. Here's why. It wasn't the movie itself that put me on edge. It's the fact that I'm watching the movie in a separate room and that at any point Someone else in the house could barge in and see what the <laughs> hell I'm watching, and then I'll die of embarrassment. Let me ask: Did that happen? No, it didn't. Oh. But I had my I I was I was holding the remote with finger on the trigger, ready to exit <laughs> out of the movie. <laughs> oh man, I uh, I I watched this movie with my roommate, and we both really enjoyed it. Okay, Yay. good for you. Yay. I dug it. Okay. When I when I started thinking about it, it kind of lowered some points a little. 
it, I guess it just wasn't my movie entirely, but there was some <laughs> stuff. There was some good stuff in here. There is some good stuff in here. Yeah, I kind of liked it a lot. Me too. I, I, was, I would say I, I loved it. I me too. <laughs> because Wait, love who? What the movie? I love you, Nick. Oh, I love you, Chase. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> no, I just like how um, like first of all, we mentioned this is definitely not a horror film. No, and um, I guess if the subject matter is scary to you, then maybe. Um, but I think like at the core of this, it's really again a sad movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Watching this and very, very nicely executed opening scene as well, where you see, you know, the wife dying, drowning, and this very, it's very artsy opening. Mm-hmm. And, beautiful. Um, it's fucking it's really gorgeous. beautiful. Wow. It's so mm-hmm. good. So, so beautiful. And like Audition, it follows, you know, a, a single father and, and their kid and, and dealing with that. I think more, definitely more so in this film, dealing with that loss. And, yeah. um, the fact that you know he's so alone like both films and you know him just trying to live and raise a, a child on his own and then you know it's it just was really beautiful to me actually <laughs> like, yeah um you know because like you know when he uh like when he first realizes like he he's kind of got the cupid's arrow when yeah. uh that first encounter she steps on his finger and like breaks his nail yeah weirdly. and just like and um, just from there, dude, it's a really, it's a really damn interesting movie. I, I'm really super. surprised. I'll by this say one. this. I'll say this. It's unique. I can't think of any other movie that's gone down this road. I want to hear Nick. What what did you not like about it? Okay, yeah. Well, no. The main, the best parts for me are when he's in the he's in the dungeon or whatever. Uh, when it's just you. Oh, Those are your, your favorite parts, Nick. When it's Yuha and Mona and their interactions, not just the dominatrix stuff, but when you when you start to see these characters becoming not linked, but connected, like can they start becoming or one starts becoming connected to the other? I would I would say I would say both. I would say both. Fine. When they start would, becoming they, connected yeah. to each other in this strange way, that's those are the good parts of the movie, and the two actors really do a good job. Mm-hmm. Very all good. around. We got Pekka Strang and Krista Gusanen playing Yuha and Mona. They're really good. To, they're really they're good. Damn committed to the role. Very they got to do some very oh man, yeah, bold things. Yeah, uh, M- Mona in, in particular, I just. I was just thinking this the whole time. I had never seen it, but I got serious girl with the dragon tattoo vibes. I was thinking Fincher mm-hmm. as well, watching this. Yeah, there was some David Fincher stuff going on here. Yeah, they're they're the they're the main draws of the movie. They really keep it uh, interesting. The rest of the characters, though, I wasn't I wasn't on board with. They're just kind of characters that sort of reinforce the situation that's going on. We have we have the doctor friend who has to tell Yuha that oh man you might you might be going crazy what's going on here uh the daughter didn't factor as much in as i would have liked uh just show like what the Yuha is missing out on in his life post uh wife dying but yeah if if the unless a character that isn't named Mona or Yuha i wasn't quite so interested in but those two they're they're great yeah, I would I would agree. I feel like the most most of the characters are are definitely side characters. Um mm-hmm. but I I do think I do think Ellie is a little more uh Ellie is his, uh is his daughter. Um mm-hmm. I I do think that she is a little more involved and I like her involvement. Um I I think that it's showing his uh his obsession with Mona um is now detrimental to to his his, his relationship and his mental health with his mm-hmm. daughter and you know uh it, it's similar in a in a way that obviously this this child is is or she, I think she's like a teenager I, obviously I think she's like 17 or 18 cuz she's able to get her tongue pierced or whatever the fuck the, the well maybe the, it works different in finland yeah i don't know yeah. um 
but uh uh the uh, uh she she obviously cares about her dad and she cares about what he uh what um what he's going through and like what in, in their relationship because when uh she was really really mad at him about missing her uh her performance that she had mm-hmm, uh, yeah. she kept reminding him and subtly like uh, obviously ne- she never said i really want you to come it would mean a lot to me but she just kept bringing it up that hey did you get your tickets yet like blah blah, blah you know and that's something that um in in like for me i'm not a very uh I'm not a very uh, emotional, um, uh, outspoken person. Meaning, like, I'm if uh, unless it's like a cup, like a group of people, like that. I'm I'm very very fond of. I'm not going to be like, hey, this would mean a lot to me if you did this. You know, right. I'd be like mm-hmm. subtly reminding. So I, I I feel I feel that as a as a real response um, from someone who has um, had some trauma in their life and and uh, naturally don't naturally doesn't feel the emotions as uh i guess an everyday person would feel that's pretty um, important too, huh? but but i do absolutely agree that that the the meat and the interesting aspect of this movie is from mona and and you yeah but at the same time when it comes to a head at the end mm-hmm. i feel like i started questioning what what more is there to Mona and Yuha's relationship besides the fact that he's clinging on to this notion that if he gets strangled near death, he'll have visions of his wife and sort of thing. Like he's holding on to her like a lifeline. I, I felt like there could have been more to that yeah. dynamic. Yeah, I would, I, again, I would probably, I'd probably agree with you there. I, um, uh, the ending just kind of the last like 10, 15 minutes of the movie just kind of wrap up. And yeah. they don't really wrap up in a way that, you know. Yeah, the ending I wasn't really satisfied with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was I was really satisfying with the scene, mm-hmm. with the oh, ending scene. I fucking loved. Oh it. yeah, I loved it. But, yeah, the uh, visual looks good. It looks. Uh, well, no, I think I think the acting. I think I think it's them meeting at the very end. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I think it's. I think he's coming to to grips with his with, comfortable with his. Uh, I don't know if you could say sexuality, but I mean. His so the lifestyle, like it changed, like you think yeah. about like how lonely and how he yeah. was for up until like that sad. point. Like, yep. Yeah, he like finally finds uh, a community and finally finds like his purpose almost. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and with Mona, I I do think that there's something deeper there than uh, um than uh than just physical. I think sure. I think that he he it without. I mean, since I guess we'll we'll get into the to the spoiler bits of it, but um, the uh, with with him being strangled and him being able to see his wife when he passes out, um, he I, I think he needed that, and I think that he needed that release and that um, uh, almost closure um, yeah. in a way yeah. that the only person that could bring him that is Mona, and the 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 like climactic scene um at mona's apartment when after he's been like stalking her for a couple days um i think that was that was the final stepping point for him to to uh um to get over it um and and not necessarily get over it because that's such a fucked up thing to say about someone who's who's wife died and uh in yeah, an well, it is a movie so no, but, but you find it but you feel you get a feeling that he's in control now again absolutely absolutely and and then especially when he goes into work and he's better and you know he goes and sees his daughter and he's like you know yeah i'm gonna tell the she, truth well especially too yeah, and then she writes him off still completely yeah i don't think i don't think it was i i thought that at first too i thought that she was just like wow uh i thought she was like you know fuck this guy but i think i think it was you know, uh, as as fucked up as it is, what this past couple months have have changed her, and she uh, she is now uh, becoming you know her own person and doing her own thing. And he said, you know, I'm gonna I'll uh, I'll I'm gonna tell you everything that's going on. And and essentially that was him saying, you know, uh, I'll do better and I'll be here for you. Um, and uh, yeah, that, at least at least that's what I got out of it. That's re- that's respectable, but I I feel like the daughter almost completely abandoned him, completely. 
because he's been so absent lately. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't really. They kind of lose that open ended, but I, yeah, yeah. I guess I don't really okay, see it well, as a bad thing. I, so I can show it. it succeeds in what it's trying to do. Yeah. One person thinks one way, I I think another. I think it would be pretty unrealistic for her to be like, you know what, Dad? I you know I understand. I I forgive you, and then like you know, happy happy ending. Sure. Yeah, sort of closure on that. It's kind yeah, of like I, know, I, you I wasn't expecting left a full happy up. ending, but some kind of interaction that didn't remind me of a Nicholas Winding Refn movie where they just stare at each other awkwardly well they don't i mean she just like hey God, i'm gonna go my friend's picking me up yeah and then he's just like okay. do you need money it's like nothing he can like really say right now is gonna fix right. anything she's, like, yeah she's not gonna of... stop and be like okay. you know what maybe i will hang out with my dad right. <laughs> okay you know pardon me then <clears throat> but um yeah i i i i fucking thoroughly enjoy this the the cinematography is also something that um, it's pretty good. Absolutely needs to be brought up when talking about this movie because mm-hmm. um, uh, the lighting and shot selection mm-hmm. and um, also this uh, this um, the the poster for it is beautiful. It is so it is so nineteen eighties horror film. Like it feels it feels like a uh, fucking Hellraiser. It's yeah. um, like it's Pinhead. Hell. And and I love it, but it is totally the wrong vibe. I feel of the movie, yeah, because it kind of gives it a a creepy, like she's gonna torture him and then kill him type thing. But it's yeah. not. It, it's, Which it's, begs the question: How the hell did this get picked up by Shutter? You could have aired this on Netflix, and it wouldn't have been any different. Yeah, uh, it yeah, definitely it's, miss. I don't think it should be on on Shutter. I could see it, like I said, I could see it being, or I, like I didn't say, but I could definitely see it being on like Criterion Channel or something like that. Or yeah, um, pretty recent or, to be on Criterion. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where this would fit on a streaming service. It would be, it would be weird. I think the best place I could think of it for would be like, uh. I have no idea. I don't. I have no idea. Prime Video. Yeah. Everything else goes on there. Just knowing, yeah. just know, like going into this film, people are listening. It's it's not a horror film, and it kind of comes off as that when like mm-hmm. their first interaction, like, oh, she's gonna really turn the tables and inflict yeah. some the the only horror, damage. the only like, horror, like body horror in. stuff a little bit. The only horror that comes in is the risk of someone walking in on you, not knowing what the hell you're watching. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. It, it, it's definitely, yeah. I would just say, a, a psychosexual thriller. I mean, yeah. it, even thrillers kind of yeah. strongly implying a sense of like. Well, it this is, we this is it is thrilling. It yeah, yeah. this is thrilling. So it, it'd be a thriller, I'd say. And sure, it's sure. Really weird subject matter too. Just the dominatrix world is just kind of weird in general. I mean. <sighs> Stop me before I become. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. I think it's, it's not, not weird. Normal. I mean, it's, it's not just, normal. How about that? Not That's, normal. Yeah. It's, and, and, it's yeah. Yeah. From your perspective, it's an it's an underground culture, for reasons. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 I I just I think it's a it's not a. Uh, I also I could definitely see people being, um, upset about this yeah. if this isn't exactly what um the uh the bdsm scene is like because yeah. uh, i'm me frankly i don't know anything about it i don't know if, if it sounds like you definitely don't nick but uh i mean vic if you if you're yeah, into, I, I reject shit about this if you're into thing. if you're into whips and chains and ball gags and leather and shit i mean it's not i'm not like it's nothing that i've done like heavy research on but i mean i mean it, it just seems like I mean, it seems pretty accurate, I guess. I don't yeah. know. It, yeah. seems a, it seems a little exaggerated, but I right. mean, of course, it's, but again, who knows? I, have, We're outsiders. I, exactly. I have no fucking idea. Tell but, me this um, one thing. Tell me this one thing, Victor. I got okay. a question for you. Yeah. What? Please tell me this doesn't mean you're you're gearing up for Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, for a recommendation? <laughs> oh, shit. I've never seen it. I've never seen me it. Me either. Right? Thanks, Nick. We'll do that in yeah, part two. We'll, yeah, we'll do <laughs> Fuck. Paul Part Two is literally just an advertisement. Paul Part <laughs> what? It's literally, it really talking about Paul Part. It's literally an advertisement for the hotel that they were building. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh-huh. That's one of the only reasons why I got made. I'm almost I'm almost positive. The second wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hold it. Where do we talk? Where do we where did Paul Blur come from? Fifty Shades of Grey. We're talking about shitty movies, Nick. We're talking oh, about okay. double feature okay. with Paul Blur and did yeah, you guys the know best, that um, the best BDSM movies on the market. Have you guys seen that Paul video? Blur. It's um Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, uh matching up with Paul Blur two scenes. No, the album itself sinking the whole album, scenes. yeah, dude. That's ridiculous. What? It's either the second or the first one, but you look it up, you just look up Pink Floyd. I don't care. I've Paul been Blart. watching Paul Blart one gonna... since I was in fucking high school, and I regret yeah. probably watching that. Oh, movie. Get ready to have your mind blown. Um, get, wake up, take the red pill, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Paul Blart, the, the Blart guy. side of the moon. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. But anyway, back to dogs don't wear pants. I also Blart. want to know the sound design again this time. Uh, in the Dominatrix yes. scenes, you can hear like the crunching of the leather straps and the chains and all the footsteps. That kind of stuff is really immersive. Really puts there's you in some, that room. There's some great sound design, and there's some, and um, also to sound editing, like with um, audition. There's they really know what sounds to include and what sounds not to include. I, I, I don't have too many examples on the top of my head, but there's many moments in this where they cut out sound or cut out certain um, sound, sounds, yeah, they, I guess. they mute it or they cut it out entirely. It's pretty And weird. it is so effective. Like, the editing in this is, is so nice and really efficient. I think that... Oh god! Like especially when he's being, you know, strangled and he's seeing like the visions of his wife. Um, yeah, it's just really smart editing here. Yeah, she's always naked in the visions too. That's kind of curious. Well, I mean, he is did... he is being like it's, it is like it's like erotic asphyxiation too. So I mean, yeah. okay, all right. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I kind of I would probably think of someone naked too if I was getting off on getting fucking choked. So sure. That's just that's just me though. That's just me. Hey, that's just me, yeah. bro. That's just me, bro. You do you. You do you, bro. Um, but no, I think I I'm I'm so happy that you recommended this movie, and I am very happy with it. Um, and, I was yeah. I will say, it's a movie, and Victor recommended it. <laughs> we were actually Nick. We uh we had texted each other. Um, uh, Victor and I, and I was like, I am really excited to see how. Uh, what Nick has to say about this movie, and then and then Victor was like, one of my favorite parts of choosing these these uh, doing these podcasts is, is getting to hear Nick talk about what he fucking thought you was weird. You person in high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, yeah, I I give I rip Victor sometimes for the his artsy tastes and whatnot, but and I can I dig an it. artsy movie every now and again. Just it's just getting me past that threshold of. I'd say looking at a poster or, or telling me the basic concept to really just get me on board after that first sentence or log line, if you will. Yeah, I mean, I just pick movies that sound interesting to me and movies yeah. that I would personally want to watch. Yeah. I, I mean, really, I really want to see The Last Cow. Same. Uh, you mean and the first, first, first cow? First cow. Oh, first first cow. cow. Sorry, <laughs> me too. I want to see that. That see, that's oh. more up my alley because Western, the frontier. I know that. It it sells a lot more than <laughs> Matrix Land. The BDSM. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like topics that explore some like taboo things, and, things. I, and yeah, just like I I appreciate that. Just know I appreciate that. Uh, well, that's sure, good. Sure you do. You sound like you're bitching. You sound like you're bitching, <laughs> Nick. So I should stop bitching. You know. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just the world could do without so much bitching. Just be happy with what you got. Exactly. Go go love your 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 pointless John Wick movies. Excuse me. <laughs> I love John Wick. I'm okay. that's one hundred percent. We're gonna prove uh, that when we do that. That's one hundred percent. I love it. Uh huh. Well, um, um... <laughs> what more do we have? I'm glad it didn't go into the torture route like i thought it was going to yeah me too because there were definitely i mean there don't get me wrong there was a torture scene but i was you yeah. know from the from the synopsis from the cover first introduction of yeah, mona you, you kind of expected hell, like i'm having a tough time looking at her right now 
you you expect like a extended torture scene and like that one was but i'm glad yeah. it was that was the extent of it yeah the tooth pulling in his blood or something because that was that was brutal that tooth pulling scene that was hard yeah. to watch. i liked when uh i liked when she saw that his hand was fucked up and she pissed on it yeah that was, that was good that was awesome <laughs> Now it's clean. infections you can get from that. Well, uh, that's just the price you pay for a little bit of fun. Yeah, for a little bit of fur. For... He should know better. He's a doctor, so he's the best person to 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 fix yeah. it. If I don't think his part was fine. But you should know you don't piss on an open wound unless you want a bad day. Have you ever done it? Yeah. I remember I remember this one time, this one time I had cut my finger open and I decided to piss all over my hand. And it really was not good for you. It got infected. <laughs> I had to remove the finger and everything. Okay. You know what? <laughs> let's do let's do ratings. Let's do ratings. Let's do ratings. You want to do ratings? <laughs> let's do ratings. Oh, I got more to say. I'm, I'm I'm yeah, do you got more to say, Victor? Uh I can probably just put into my wrap up statement. Yeah. Um I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this four ball gags out of five. Um <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think the only thing that would have made uh, I'm I'm close to four and a half, honestly. Yeah. Um the only thing that would have made me put it to four and a half, if there was a little bit if it was clearer about the relationship with uh with his daughter, um, and if they did something more with it. But other than that, absolutely loved it. Uh such a fucking weird movie. The ending scene and seeing this this sad man flourish into this this drunk dancing chained up fucking gimp is my <laughs> favorite Wah. my favorite Wah. story arc of of cinema i'm not yeah. i'm that's, of all that's time. no 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 of, of course not Good. but recently in the last in it, it's I, it's an amazing amazing uh arc and uh he he's flourishing in in his his uh his sexuality and his acceptance of his new life. And uh, I think he finally has, has accepted the fact that his wife is gone and that nothing's going to bring her back, but that doesn't mean that he can, has to be sad and he can enjoy life. And, uh, and maybe during these uh, uh, erotic asphyxiations, he can visit her every once in a while and then <laughs> go on with his life. But I, four ball gags out of five. And yes, I will be looking for this on Blu-ray. <laughs> Okay, then. Cool. Okay, I'll give this three leather onesies out of five. Uh, this has a lot of great stuff in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Two very convictingly performances, some well-directed scenes, a nice visual look, thematic storyline. That's all great, but this, this, I still take issue with how some characters are utilized, how some character dynamics could have played out. And overall, this is a, maybe a bit too weird for me. I don't see myself rewatching this in the future, but I wasn't disappointed. I watched it. I I feel ex my my tape my movie uh, taste feels expanded, and I'm and I'm grateful for that. So three yeah. leather onesies out of five. Beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna be on the same. I think I'm four, but it's like, I th but I'm also maybe four and a half. Wait, okay. four, but four and a half. I, I will decide later, but it is, it is, it is looking like a four and a half. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. Um, four, four and a half lashings out of five. Wow. Um, I just think that at the core of this, it's it's a pretty damn beautiful story, and I don't know if I agree with you guys with their dynamic Mona and the the man. Uh, not being expanded too much because I, I think like there is a, a obvious like romantic connection and but it's and it's hard to say though how much that how much he's feeling that whether he's like he's so attached to the um the relief that he's getting from the pain and maybe that's the only reason why he keeps coming back I mean that seems like to be the reason mostly yeah um, I um um I I'm sorry I don't I don't want to interrupt no you're fine there is one thing I wanted to add. Um, I, there's the, towards the, like the second or th the first or second time where they meet and they, and, and she strangles him, you sense 
there there's something there's a, there's a, a a look in her eye yeah that that is different than normal and right. i think and this is how i interpreted it and of course it's up for interpretation but what i'm thinking is that um i i think that she is realizing that that this man isn't here just to to get off and then leave he's 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 hurting he's struggling and yeah. uh, um you know, and and I think she's she's uh, infatuated with the fact that you know he's not he's not there to he's not there to to have her beat him. Uh, she's he's there for to have her let him experience something and that he hasn't been able to experience, which is like relief and bliss, which he hasn't been able to experience since his wife died. And I think right. that feels more it feels it feels more romantic in the side of there's not her her she was talking about how uh the tattoo artist in the in the uh, uh at the at the shop that's uh, above um the dungeon um they they say can't you just can't you just have like normal sex and she goes i i i can't there is no normal for me and i think that doesn't sound like a, it doesn't sound like a, oh no, this is what I like. It sounds like a, it's, it's, I mean, it is what she likes, but I think it's, it's not a thing that she's necessarily entirely happy about, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Keep going. I just want to say it's, it feels that there's a romantic connection there and, and I would be, I would, I would like to, I ain't get no romantic vibes from that. Well, I'm well, fuck you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess too, like it's curious because you know when he uh, meets up with that teacher, the his daughter's teacher. He yeah, kind of requests her to do the similar things that Mona would do. And she's just like fucking laughing, laughing like, at him. Uh, <laughs> so it's like maybe he likes it. I mean, I'm sure he likes it, right? Yeah, but it's definitely the mixture of pleasure and and relief. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I think that you know it's an unconventional way for a character to find relief through, you know. Punishment, and I'm, I just haven't seen enough movies where that's probably a theme. Um, Understood. Yeah. Um, but I do like that because it's not; it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very common. Mm-mm. And I just like seeing alternative ways where people can find happiness and find mm-hmm. um, just a sense of, you know, a, a weight being lifted from their shoulders, even if it's something that hurts them. It's like. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's a very interesting way to pursue that concept, yeah. and um, you know, by the ending scene where he goes to the club and he's he's dressed in that harness and mm-hmm. she's he's going dancing, in the corner. he's having yeah. a fucking great grand old time. I was just, I was so happy with that. I was so Me happy too. with that ending. So it's it's a very, very beautiful film, and um, in a way, yeah. In a way. <laughs> In a way, I don't know how you can agree that the his art well, is like really. You no, know, it's just. Mm, it's I I guess I just don't see it the way you do. I'm not knocking how you see it. Understood. Just, Understood. Well, uh-huh. well, what do you What do you mean that I I wanna? Well, you you're looking past the, what would deter most people. Like it's a dominatrix film. This guy is getting into BDSM, uh-huh. and uh, I'm just kind of kind of not like that so much. The, the thematic content. So are you are you saying that you're against BDSM? I am not saying I'm against BDSM. So you just I don't see how that could like how that he sense. could find that relief through BDSM. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not making any sense in the current state. <laughs> Nick said two whiskeys. <laughs> not a whiskey. It's, two, it's two shock tops. Two shock tops. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm I'm stupid like that. I can't hold my liquor. You're I, no, I was just curious what you what Why you're just you guys drinking with me. We should we need to do a drunken episode. I would I would absolutely love that. Actually, let's fucking we should do, do it. it. And we should do it with like a movie that totally is inappropriate to be drunk with, like Schindler's <laughs> List or something. <laughs> Little Women. Let's go. <laughs> Little Women are like fucking Toy Story. Like, <laughs> um, but um. I, I think I, I I enjoyed this, and I'm glad that you picked this, Victor. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, me too. I'm happy. I'm happy I got to witness it, and I'm happy I got to go outside my comfort zone 
even if it's in the name for the podcast, I it's nice to know different movies are out there that they exist. Yeah, it, it's good to step out a little bit. Yeah, and figure out you don't, you don't only need to watch action films. You know what I mean? Right. Not that I don't just watch action films. I, I know. I know. <laughs> you chase. <laughs> But all um, Nick do is watch uh, Clint Eastwood, Michael Bay, and uh, Steve McQueen. Again, Steve McQueen. What are three of those I would not be op- opposed to. <laughs> what What were the right ones? Benton, Steve Terry, McQueen. McQueen. Oh, Clint Eastwood. God, could you imagine living a life only watching Michael Bay movies? You go no, nuts. No, I would kill myself. I would not. Watch, right? Yes. Yes. I would like to watch Pain and Gain. That looks pretty fun. I actually, okay, here's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh. Nick, I don't want to hear a fucking peep out of you. Okay. <laughs> I I enjoyed Pain and Gain. Because, <laughs> because, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. A, I was uh, a young teenager or preteen. B, it has The Rock in it, and The Rock makes every single movie better. Yeah. Regardless of of what the movie is, if if he's in the movie, it gets an extra star bonus. Sure, but that's not saying much. Uh, also, it's uh, uh, the the cast is just fucking great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I guess that would other than and I can I can I can un unapologetically say that I did enjoy the first Transformers movie when yeah. I was. T- did you watch The Rock yet? Keyword 10. <laughs> I have not watched The Fucking Rock yet. Watch The Rock, dude! <laughs> I have not watched it yet. Dude, I have my, my dad is a fan of, of The Rock, and okay. so maybe one of these days I'll, I'll, I'll go to my dad's and watch it with okay. him. Okay, you, you do that. Go, yeah. go to Papa Biddle, be like, hey, I want to watch <laughs> The Rock, man. Uh, he'd be like, uh, why? <laughs> uh, um, but oh, I was... I was I was wondering, um, guys, since we're here, um, since we're all here and we're all buddies, um, would it be okay if I chose next week's films? Yeah, yeah. sure. Go ahead. Gang. <laughs> Four Story and Schindler's List. Here we come. <laughs> no. I just got to say beforehand, like before we you choose yours, I'm just, I really want to see what this guy does next. I, I think. The Toy Story guy? No, no. no, no the no, guy no. who did Dog, dog Pants. Yeah, dog pants. Oh, dog pants. <laughs> Didi Dog no, no, no. Better bro. title. That's a better I'm having title. a hard time not like gushing over this film. Me like, too. My I've girlfriend. Been about it all day. Okay. She okay. What, criticized what me. She, my girlfriend thinks all I do is watch weird movies. So Which Chase, is probably kind of fact. Film. It's probably kind of fact. <laughs> she thinks I'm a freak. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad, Chase. You really enjoyed it, so you can kind of back me up. Yeah, I mean, I I know I, I watch a lot of fucking too, weird movies. What? I enjoyed it too for what it's worth. You did. So you know, we can all be freaks together. Yeah, we'll just be weird and we'll join a fucking we'll join a, a fucking BDSM dance club. We should um, do that for uh we get Nick on Nick into a session for the podcast. We'll do a special episode. Nick gets a BDSM session. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> what good we'll is that? Live, you know, we'll live stream we'll Nick at yeah. <laughs> by a big by a big Russian like dominatrix and nick's like please no not the paddle again and she says shut up fucking I'll, I'll turn them on you I'll, I'll i'll turn them on you man i'll i'll no, pay double i'll pay no, double what no. you're doing that's just assault if i'm not consenting to it i guess you're no. not consenting to it either oh, well anyway uh <laughs> good um, film i love it oh uh, chase do you wait, have any wait, ideas wait, of what, I, what? my computer froze up right there did you guys say anything bad about me no nothing at all i hope not um i don't think i actually i actually don't have any uh any any choices at the moment i do want to choose next like next couple weeks but yeah Mm -hmm. um i i I honestly think schindler's list and toy story would be such a fucking weird (laughs) episode (laughs) that's the most gigantic (laughs) <laughs> I think I think I'm a fan of of doing that. I want two very different movies. Um, <sighs> so <laughs> I mean, maybe it's gonna yeah. end horribly. No, it's not. It's gonna be great. Okay, it would fine. Be just fine. our luck. There would be like some sort of connection between the two. Yeah, right? we'll connect it. We'll be like, you know, oh, the gosh. toys get treated three hours and twenty bad. minutes. No, no, no. Happiness and despair. Uh, go yeah. hand in hand. Yeah. 
<laughs> sure. One of them, there's got to be like one actor that's in the movie as well. Or like um, someone worked on both movies. That Liam Neeson in a Toy Story movie at one point. He must have. No. It's some, some kind of Pixar movie. Did Spielberg have anything to do with uh, with Pixar? I don't no. think so, right? No, he Damn. didn't. Wait, I actually wait, 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 wait. Tom Hanks is a Spielberg regular. Oh, yep. Boom. There we go. Connection. Spielberg, Saving Private Ryan, fucking Toy Story and Woody. <laughs> I love it. I want. I would. I would be. I would be down for that. <laughs> um. Oh man. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I know that I want. I'm gonna to, need uh, something familiar after these couple of movies. Too drastic. I actually haven't seen Schindler's List. Me, okay. so, me either, actually. Um. But I don't think. I don't think I'm choosing that because I don't want to. I. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't want to watch a three and a half hour long movie. Bro. Unless it's, unless it's fucking Lord of the Rings. And knowing Nick, he would say something super no offensive. No runtime. Out of our yeah. heads. He'd, he'd be like, you know, it doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> I actually all like, cost was a hoax. What do you think yeah. about that? Uh. He's like, you know what? I think uh, I think this, I think, you know, I like the I sequel take- of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas better. We'll watch Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor. It's a fucking four-hour movie. Nah, nah. But yeah, I'll choose. I'll choose something. I'll choose yeah. uh, two uh, radically different movies. Surprise uh, us! I will. I will. I'll just change the name in the group chat to it if I can. I think I can. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. But for well, now, that is our episode. Audition yeah. and dogs don't wear pants. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So... You thoroughly enjoyed me acting like a bigger idiot than I've ever acted on this show. This was probably your biggest idiot moment. I think this was probably your biggest idiot idiot episode, and uh, this was probably honestly, I think this might be my favorite episode we've done. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, I'm turning off the, See the connection there at, at right right here on. That's it. That's get it. <laughs> well, as always, we really appreciate you listening. It means a lot to us. Um, we are on your favorite podcast apps. We're on all of them. I am certain. Uh, make sure you, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, you give us a rating and a review. Um, yeah, and comment in the comments if I should be kicked off the show or not. Yeah, it's up to you guys whether Nick gets the guillotine. Yep, do so, it. Uh... Come at me, guys. <laughs> it's up to so... it's up to everyone else to decide if Nick gets the ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> and it's looking like he might. It's looking like he might be getting gagged here. Get medieval, and, um... my ass. Oh and if you God. want to follow us on social media, we're on Instagram, Reviews in the West, and also uh, Twitter. Um, uh, it is uh, Reviews from the W. So. RFTW. Represent. Head us up, everyone. Thank you for listening, Bye. and we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.